Hi everyone, welcome to Wesno Tech News and Reviews. We do get a lot of questions about the GPS accuracy of the smartwatches, sport watches and fitness trackers that we review on the Wesno's channel. And hence, today we are going to be testing two smartwatches and one multi-sport watch from Garmin on their GPS accuracy. And hence today we've got the Garmin Venue SQ, the Honor Magic Watch 2, as well as the Amazfit GTR2 in a GPS comparison. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. Before we get into the comparison and analysis of the data, let me explain how I set the benchmark and what we are actually testing against. The rules of engagement were, I went out for a walk on Christmas day for one hour and I covered just over five kilometers. Now, I actually used my iPhone 12's GPS and recorded via the Polar Beat app. And we're going to look at the specifics just now. Now, alongside this GPS accuracy test, I was doing a heart rate accuracy test using the Polar H10 chest strap. But you will find the link to that review in the link below or in the end screen at the end of the video. Just before I started the walk, I started off the four devices, so three trackers as well as the mobile phone simultaneously and went off on the walk. And the results are quite interesting. Polar Beat shows that within the one hour and three minutes as recorded, I covered 5.28 kilometers. That's the map of my route. First up is the Garmin Venue SQ. After all, it's more of a sport watch rather than a smartwatch. And we can see that the watch recorded 4.99 kilometers. The map looks similar in shape and make particular notice of the route segments where I'm walking in parallel to the main route. 4.99 kilometers, that's 5.6% off the mark. Considering that you're trying to maximize your health and fitness, under-reporting the distance is probably more prudent than over-reporting. Now let's take a look at the results on the Amazfit GTR2. But just before we do that, let me remind you that we have previously already done a GPS accuracy test and we have actually used the GTS, the initial version versus the likes of Garmin, Honor and Huawei. And the most interesting thing is, is that the GTS actually showed us the most accurate result out of the four smartwatches in terms of GPS accuracy. In terms of this test, the GTR2 measured 5.03 kilometers and that is 4.7% below the 5.28 kilometers mark. But it's a better result than Garmin Venue SQ showed. The GTR2 actually has dual inbuilt GPS, GLONASS and GPS receivers. Also note the accuracy of the route map. And now let's see what the Honor Magic Watch 2 came up with. And here we see a distance of 5.61 kilometers. That's an overstatement by 6.3%. So it's the farthest out from the 5.28 kilometers and on top of it all, it's an overstatement. Now, if we look to the map, we can see that the GPS has recorded the route incorrectly and the signal seems to be wandering off in more than a few places. Let's discuss the results now and see if we can get to any conclusions. The Amazfit GTR2 was the closest to the 5.28 kilometers recorded by iPhone 12's GPS. Garmin Venue SQ was second. The difference between the GTR2 and SQ was just 40 meters. And that's not significant enough to say that Garmin SQ GPS is less accurate than a Masfit GTR2. But what it does say is that the stigma in the market that a Masfit sensors are incorrect is not true. Not true at all, because this is the second test we do and twice the first generation and now the second generation do show the best results in terms of GPS tracking. The Honor Magic Watch 2 quite frankly disappoints. The only positive is the consistency. Uh, second time in a row it comes in third place. Thank you all for watching. I hope you did find the video useful and insightful. Uh, if you did then please do click on the red subscribe button below the video to make sure you don't miss any of the upcoming content. Also, I've provided the link to our Instagram page, wheresknows.tech. So do click on that, have a look at the page and follow us.